Hello ladies and chaps and a jolly good welcome to you. I am Curtier. Thank you very very much for joining me for this update video in Hellion. That's right, update 0.2.7 dropped out nearly a week ago now. I do apologise for the lateness of this video and for the lack of any other Hellion content from myself. But I assure you I have arrived back in the Hellion system at maximum warp and here I am ready with another update video. Now I had a lot of help in this video from a prominent Hellion gamer and tester uh, King, aka King of Condor, aka Aussie King, aka King of Wombats and Kangaroos. Thank you very much for all your assistance, old boy. I really appreciate the help. Now then, the update itself. It's a good one. It is. I'm very, very proud of it. I'm sure the devs are too. It looks amazing. I love it. To kick off today's list of new features, volumetric lighting. Now, whichever one of the devs was in charge of developing this, deserves massive round of beer because it is beautiful it looks absolutely stunning you can have the option of turning it on or off in the settings it makes the game look so much more immersive especially when the lights are off in the ship it looks absolutely glorious so thank you very much for adding that in i absolutely love it and i've heard nothing but good from that from other people too secondly and i'm sure you would agree the main point of the update the main feature within the update crafting is now in the game and it adds a whole new layer of immersion and enjoyment to the game uh, it comes with a new module fabricator module here it is it has only one entrance and exit so you have to attach it to the end of a corridor and no doubt will be highly sought after and highly fought over so how does this all work well basically you use it as a recycler so you recycle old things you don't really want for example this turret here you bang it in the recycler thingy and at the top it shows you what you get in return for that item that you wish to get rid of you close the door and poof off it goes recycled make your way over to the cargo terminal which is a standard cargo terminal but also has the added fabricator attachments to it and it shows you on the left there your resources you've gained from recycling and whatnot click the fabricator tab to bring up the fabricator here and then you click the arrow to see a big list of craftable items it's a bloody large list and it shows you how much resources each item costs some just cost circuits and things like that but some will also cost in other resources like life support resources when you find the item you wish to craft you simply click on it and then it's a matter of dragging across the resources you have into the fabricator to start the crafting then you sit back and watch the massive paper slicer thingy crafting your item for you until bam there it is server motor tier 3 ready for use furthermore regarding crafting there are new scrap items in the game they are found on derelicts but alas i could not find what i was looking for for this video so i can't show you what it looks like but i've been led to believe that it's something to do with these sort of glowing little bits on the derelicts here now on to system improvements firstly air added as a new resource it's basically made up of oxygen and nitrogen and is used in an air tank that's been added to the last port system and the tank serves as storage for pressurizing and depressurizing rooms so if you have a full air tank you might not be able to depressurize the room you're in air is produced in the air generator naturally and my favorite new feature in this regard is that you can depressurize and repressurize any room using the life support interface pressurizing and depressurizing airlocks has been sped up substantially and there's been a slight change to some of the resources and their icons another important thing to note adding a command module to your base will now prevent unauthorized personnel from accessing any of the system panels so they can't go into your your outpost and start nicking all your resources from your cargo terminal the command module has been added with a power supply and last port interface which is brilliant you can control your entire base from there as it's meant to be and this adds a brilliant use for the command module other than it being just a large junction within your base one more thing to note for you crafty little lockpickers you can no longer break into a base using the maintenance shaft hatches they are locked from the inside so bore off trying to sneak in bypassing doors and more important changes in propulsion you can now warp with up to three attached modules to your grapple only grapple not your airlock but this will cost you a lot more in warp fuel one attached module will cost you twice as much fuel two attached modules will cost you three times as much fuel and so on and so forth and here's a little icon showing you how many modules are attached to your ship and furthermore ships engines can now be used to change the orbit of your station there are a whole host of user interface improvement namely the join hellion on discord tab in the main menu as well as the gamepedia tab in the main menu 
witty old messages are now replaced by game tips which i think is very very good and there are a whole host of game tip related things throughout the game in all the interfaces and all these sort of things can be switched on and off in the settings there are a bunch of decal improvements as well as smaller little things like environmental monitor in the cryopod as well as a whole bunch of optimization improvements and lastly there is a huge list of bug fixes as always i'll be here until the next update if i try to go through them all but they're there in the crafting notes for your viewing and reading pleasure and that's it for this time around thank you very very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this update video this video took two players and about six relogs to do don't forget helion is still a early access game there are multiple bugs and lots of relogs are often required to play the game not a massive drama if you're a patient person like me so please give the devs a chance don't jump down their throats because you have to relog once every half hour or so and enjoy your time in space once again i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do leave a like please subscribe for more there is going to be a lot more helion content planned to come to my channel hopefully i can get through it all in between jobs shifts and things like that please leave a comment telling me what you think or if i miss anything out or if you enjoy the new update all that good stuff tell me what you think of it all i really want to hear your feedback don't forget to follow me on twitter and follow the link to my twitch account follow me on twitch because i will be streaming helion 2 also follow the link to my discord come along join me there have a good chat with other helion players and you can come and join me in my schemes for the game i am Curtier. i hope to see you again very very soon thank you very much for watching and goodbye